In this video, you will learn how to use slides in online meetings the right way. Let's go. Your next act, Mr. Marcus Seppala. How's it going? My name is Marcus Seppala. I'm a stand-up comedian and TEDx speaker, helping you bring more fun to the corporate stage. On this channel, I share a lot of public speaking tips about how you can better engage with your audience, whether that's in the comedy club or in a professional presentation. These days, so many of those presentations are online, either Zoom calls or live streams. But the problem is our use of slides. Most slides that you see in online presentations are terrible. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the major problems with using slides in online meetings. I'm going to share my three most important guidelines for designing your slides better so that you engage with your audience. And finally, I'm going to encourage you to design your presentations for mobile users. As always, there's more information in the description below. There I have links to additional resources that are going to help you, as well as my free video conferencing checklist that you can download. Just have a look in the links below. In many online meetings, everything is going beautifully. The presenter is engaging with the audience, there's a lot of interaction, and then somebody goes and does this. They share their screen. Sharing your screen in an online meeting is the number one way to disengage your audience. And I'm going to give you five reasons why sharing your screen and using slides is super problematic in Zoom meetings. Problem number one, in fact the biggest problem, is that sharing your screen and putting on a slide is going to take up the whole screen. In a physical meeting, you can choose to look at the speaker or look at the slides. You can easily look away from the slides. But in an online meeting, you cannot really do that. So taking up the whole screen, monopolizing the whole screen with your slide is usually a terrible idea. Problem number two is that still to this day, most slides contain too much text. That immediately bores the audience. Problem number three is that people cannot read and listen at the same time. So when you put on a slide, you are diverting attention away from your message. Problem number four is that many speakers leave the slide on for way too long. If you have a nicely designed slide that takes about 20 seconds to read and understand, there are many speakers who still leave it on for the next five minutes when they move on talking about something else. I bet you've seen this behavior in many online meetings. And problem number five is that the speaker doesn't ask the most important question. Is this slide actually adding value to my audience? We're just getting started with this list, but if you got some value already, hit the like button. So those are, in my opinion, some of the major problems with using slides in online meetings. But I'm not here to talk about problems only. I'm also here to offer you a few solutions. In fact, I have three guidelines that I recommend that you follow when you design slides for online meetings and presentations. Recommendation number one. Never use slides in online meetings unless you can justify it. So how do you justify using slides? Well, this brings me to tip number two. For every slide in your deck, you should be able to say, on the following slide, I would like to show you X. If you cannot justify to yourself and to your audience what exactly you're going to be showing on the screen, then remove the slide. Then you don't need the slide. And recommendation number three. Once you've done using the slide, remove it. Stop your screen sharing. Get away from this idea that there should always be something shared on the screen during an online meeting or a live stream. Your audience will actually prefer to look at your video rather than with your slide for a very simple reason. People connect with other human beings and as a presenter, it's really important for you to connect with your audience. Video is a great way to do that in online meetings. I also recommend that you look at it from the perspective of your audience. And when you have been the audience yourself, how many times have you gone to the speaker afterwards and said, hey, those were some great slides, I wish there were more. It never happens. And that is a signal that you should probably get rid of many of your slides as well. If you got some value out of this video so far, hit the like button. The topic of slides is of course quite controversial, so I'm going to try a different argument as well relating to mobile users. If you're anything like my typical 
YouTube audience, then half of you are watching this on your mobile phone right now. And this is also the case for video conferencing. And what that means is that when you design your slides, you should design for mobile. And specifically, that means that big complicated charts or slides with a lot of text, they are simply not going to work for your mobile audience. So always remember to design for your actual audience even when they are on mobile devices. And what that means for you as a speaker is that you have to get better at explaining your point with words. That means getting better at storytelling, maybe telling a few more jokes to engage your audience, illustrate your points with stronger anecdotes. And what it means above all is that you should start getting rid of your slides. When you can get better at using slides, you can really level up your online meeting experience. For more video conferencing tips, check out the playlist on the screen. And remember to grab my free video conferencing checklist. You can go to marcuspresents.com slash checklist or check out the link in the description below. For more tips like this, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.